Welcome to Kanama Cooks. Today we will be making Chepang Kalanga Fry a delicious side dish for lunch. This is a dish loved by everyone at home. It's meaty and crisp and goes so well with a simple South Indian lunch. Here is how to do it. The kelanga needs to be cleaned before it can be cooked. Soak them in water for 10 minutes. This will help to get rid of the sand crusted on the surface of the kelanga. It will also make it easy to clean. Wash the kelanga thoroughly to get rid of the sand. Our chepang kelanga is now ready to cook. Add the chepang kelanga to a cooker. Add some water to the cooker. Make sure the kelanga is completely immersed in water. Cook it in a pressure cooker for about 3 whistles. Remove from heat and wait for the pressure in the cooker to release naturally. If the chepang kelanga is not fully cooked, it can cause intense discomfort in the throat. So make sure it's cooked to a soft texture. A fork inserted should easily pass through. Drain the water used for cooking and add fresh water to the chepang kelanga. Once it's cool enough to handle, peel the skin off. The skin should peel off easily. It might be slightly slimy, it's okay. It's natural. Cut the cooked chepang kelanga into slices. Our chepang kelanga prep is now ready. Take a bowl and add in some turmeric powder. Add some red chili powder, some coriander powder, salt, and some gram flour that is basin. Gram flour makes for a very crispy chepangalanga fry. Use couple of tablespoons of water to make a thick paste. Don't make the paste too thin. The paste should be little thick. Add the cooked and sliced chepang kelanga to the bowl. Add two sprigs of curry leaves. Apply the paste gently to the boiled, peeled and cut chepang kelanga. Make sure the masala paste is evenly coated. Now let it marinate for 10 minutes. Set aside. A non-stick pan is preferred for this recipe. Heat vegetable oil in a non-stick pan and add in the mustard seeds. Let it crackle. Add in the marinated chepang kelanga. Fry in a low flame for about 10 minutes. until the kelanga is completely dry and roasted it will look slimy and mushy but the chepang kelanga will become dry as it cooks and roasts roast well till the chepang kelanga is completely dry and the outer skin is crisp and golden our side dish of chepang kelanga varval is now ready hope you liked this recipe If you try this recipe at home please don't forget to leave a comment below Also show us some love by hitting that little like share and subscribe buttons Thank you so much for watching and until next time it's Suguna signing off and happy cooking bye bye